my channel. Today I have my September favourites for you and I've got some beauty and lifestyle bits to share with you so I'm going to get straight into this. The first beauty bit that I have to share with you is my Bourjois Air Matte Foundation. I did mention this in my August favourites and I wasn't actually aware that it hasn't been released in the UK yet or so I am aware. Let me know down below if it has been released or not because as far as I can gather it hasn't and I think that it's released on the 30th of September so not long to wait if it hasn't been released yet but let me know anyway and I've been absolutely loving this recently it's become my go-to foundation it really helps with my oily skin but it doesn't create a really sort of powdery heavy finish on my skin which most matte foundations do this isn't too matte if that makes sense um, it just really provides lovely coverage and it is a perfect match for my skin tone I use the shade 3 light beige and like I said it's just perfect for my skin tone I'm also planning on doing a full review of this foundation so if you'd like to see that let me know down below okay so I know that I live in Dubai and I should really have an all year round tan but I don't because I don't go out in the sun that often and in the UK when I'm there I also like to top up my tan at this time of year as well because I just can't kind of embrace going pale and I think it looks amazing on some people but because I have an olive skin tone I find that when I go pale my skin goes kind of like a sallow yellowy colour which makes me look really washed out so I do like to top up my tan a little bit saying that my tan is not topped up today but never mind um, but the one that I've been using recently just to top it up not to actually tan is the Sally Hansen water resistant airbrush legs I use this just to top it up like I said so if I fake tanned maybe two or three days later when it's starting to look a bit tired I'll just spray this on and it's absolutely great it just gives it a little boost and I've really really been liking it for that and it doesn't rub off on your clothes or anything you can put it on straight after you've had a shower and moisturize and all that stuff but it's really really good I totally recommend it I have two nail polishes that I've been loving this month you might have noticed that I've been wearing the same two nail polishes all month and I have been wearing firstly Sally Hansen's high grade to heaven this is from the complete salon manicure collection I love this colour, it's such a lovely heathery grey and I just think it's absolutely beautiful for any time of year, it's such a lovely neutral colour, you can just throw it on and it dries really quickly and I also really like the brushes on these nail polishes because they have a large brush which means that it just kind of fits your nail perfectly and it makes it apply really really easily. The next colour is OPI's I Think in Pink, I have this on my nails today and I have been wearing it in my previous couple of videos I've just been loving this it's really easy to just put on you don't have to worry about being precise with it because it's such a light color it's a really nice baby pink color but it is sort of sheer as well which is really nice you don't often find that combination I usually find that nail polishes that have a sheer finish are quite neutral colors whereas this is a definite baby pink and I really like this it's just an all-year-round color really the last beauty favorite that I have to show you is a bit of a weird one I wouldn't normally include it in my favourites but it is my Shua Antiperspirant Deodorant. This is in the scent Powder Dry and it is the stick version. In Dubai it is called Rexona but in the UK it's called Shua or Shaw if you're from down south but yeah I don't know why they change the names of uh, products and brands in different countries but anyway I just really really like this stick deodorant. I usually find it very difficult to find stick deodorants that are good. I usually find that spray deodorants work a lot better but I don't like to use spray deodorants because I have asthma and it does set my asthma off so I tend to try and find stick deodorants. How many times have I said stick deodorants? I usually use Mitchum um, which I've shared with you guys before but they don't sell that in Dubai so I have been using this and I really like it and I know that they sell it in the UK as well so wherever you are it's a good deodorant if you're looking for a new one. Moving on to a couple of lifestyle bits, I've recently been using Bikini Bod which is a dietary supplement and it basically helps to boost your metabolism and and suppress your appetite. Now in recent weeks I have found that I've just been eating out a lot and I've been eating really unhealthily and I do like to snack during the day and sugar is my vice. I absolutely love any 
anything sweet. I have such a sweet tooth and I found that I was just snacking all the time and I was eating really badly and I just felt really bloated and gross so I thought that I would try this out. This is all natural, vegan and gluten free and it also contains super fruit extract and biotin as well which you guys know I've mentioned before in my hair video. I used to take biotin supplements and it really really did help with my hair growth and with my nail growth as well. I really do like this and I'll read what it does. It's supposed to suppress your appetite, give you energy and boost metabolism, help you burn more fat, nourish stronger more luminous hair, skin and nails, that's the biotin, and fights free radicals, that is the berry antioxidant blend. So yeah, I really like this. I must say that since I've started taking this, I don't snack during the day. I have my three meals a day and I just find that that's enough. I'm not hungry in between my meals and it's so, so good. I find this so helpful because I do find that when I snack, it is on chocolate and crisps and cakes and stuff like that, like I said. And I just really didn't want to be doing that and I didn't even plan on not snacking. I just haven't needed to. I have my breakfast, I have my lunch and I have my dinner and like I said, I've been full all day long so I would totally recommend these. I'll leave the link to these in the description box below so you can go and check them out if you're interested. Okay so another little weird favourite but I thought that I'd throw it in here anyway is my Twinings Chamomile and Spearmint Tea. I love this. I drink this all year round but I've especially been loving it this month because usually on a night time I'll drink chamomile tea before I go to bed. I just find that it really relaxes me and I find it really soothing but sometimes when I have a big meal I get pains in my stomach so I like to have mint tea after a meal. This just combines the two. Um, usually it would be peppermint tea that I would drink to settle my stomach but I find that spearmint does the same thing and I just really like this infusion. I think that sometimes chamomile can be a little bit bland so I think that the spearmint just adds a little bit more and I just really like these. Also guys I'm going to be moving soon so I'm not sure if this is the last video you'll see with this background or if I'll film a couple more here I'm not sure of the exact date that I'm going to be leaving here. My next video could be in the new place or it might not be but expect to see a new background sometime soon but if you'd like to watch my Rimmel collaboration you can click on it just there I was really excited about it leave me a comment on it let me know what you thought follow me on all of my social media subscribe if you haven't already to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video guys.